What up, y'all? I'm back with another review, and I'm here to review, almost a year later, the second studio album from Irish rock band Inhaler, entitled Cuts and Bruises. Now, I'm going to talk about like seven, I think, seven, maybe eight of the tracks here. Not seven. I'm talking about seven of the tracks here out of the 11. And yeah, like I said, it's been almost a year, but I'm glad to get to it, especially since I'm going to go ahead and say it was one of my favorite albums of 2023. Like, if I had to, let's say seven albums, right? It would be like in the middle between the one and seven. So, like, top four, probably. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and get right into it. So, the first track that I'm talking about, which is the first track, just to keep you satisfied. Actually, let me pull the album up on my phone while I'm at it. But this track actually grew on me as I kept listening to the album, and particularly this track, more. I love the shoegazy vibe, and I love the flow on the verses as well. Now, the next track that I'm talking about is... Hold on. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's the, s <clears throat> the second track. Yeah, I talk about like the first six tracks in a row. Um, <clears throat> oh, wait, no. So I am talking about eight tracks. Okay. Okay, cool. Uh, Love Will Get You There. This track is about slowing down and holding on and just no matter what it is that you're doing, it could, of course, be a relationship, but I'd extend it to like anything. And maybe they are. Maybe they are as well without addressing it in the song necessarily just love like just that will get you to where you want to be even if maybe if you're not necessarily aware of where you want to be where you want to go like just love is the best path to get to a better place and it's the course for me with this track i really enjoyed it <clears throat> now the next track so far so good this track here the lead singer talks about dancing around this person but not being able to think straight and avoiding this person's name just to get some space and just how it's a bit of a shame how they got so close. Um, it's, it's, so it's like, we got so close, so so far, it's so good. And then <clears throat> he's talking about not being a fan of what is being done to him by this person. Um, not necessarily in like a hurt way, but just in a like a in a control way. Like, I can't get this person off my mind. I just keep thinking about them. And um, in a way, he's saying also, like, you're so far from getting close to me. You're so far. And that's, for my own sake, and maybe for your own sake as well, so good. Um, and when he talked about dancing, I will say, this track is funky and makes me want to dance. Like, this this goes. I'm, I mess with it. <laughs> and the next track, These Are The Days. This track is about talking about how these are the days, like particularly I'd imagine right out of high school or in college or you're just out of college in those next few years or so where you're just doing anything you want for a while, clubbing and riding around with your friends, breaking down in the middle of some no-name town or out on the outskirts of some no-name town, uh, dreaming, hooking up, and uh, just waiting for things to go wrong, <laughs> uh, particularly I'd imagine with the hookups. Um, but then we get into this next track. And I like how cohesive this has been so far about this album. Like, you've got the song Just to Keep You Satisfied. Then you've got Love Will Get You There. And then it's like, oh, so far, so good. And these are the days to have this type of thing. But then it's like, we're going to get into this next track, which is my favorite track on the album. And one of my favorite tracks of 2023, If You're Gonna Break My Heart. Like those first four songs are just the build up to get to like the peak of the album for me. <laughs> like, um, just talking about like if you're gonna break my heart, smash it to pieces because I'm not gonna need it as much as I do right now. And yeah, like I said, just like a follow up, just waiting for things to go wrong after all the fun. <clears throat> if you're gonna break my heart, just smash it to pieces. I this sound this sounds like so. I don't know, like. This track makes me think of Maroon 5 for some reason. Like, late 90s, early 2000s, Maroon 5. Uh, and the next track, Perfect Storm. This track is very cinematic for me. Like, I picture dancing around this too. Like, maybe dancing around downtown or in your house, in your apartment. Or if you're outside while it's raining. Like, it's one of those type of, of course, it would be while you're raining. The track is titled Perfect Storm. But, yeah, here with this track, they're talking about... Being in a different setting, 
and still wanting this person to be around. And like when there's friction, acknowledging that it's something in the room with them tonight, making this happen, <clears throat> something in the way that this person is rolling their eyes at you or about things. And um, how night is just as cold as day is warm. Jump into the water of your perfect storm. And the second chorus of this track, I mean, that what I was just saying was just the chorus, but the second verse is described even more vividly than chorus and the first verse. <clears throat> now this next track, hold on. Okay, I was going to say, but this next track, when I have her on my mind, this track is about reminiscing in a sense, like walking by where you first met that person, but you want to forget that you met that person or just, oh well, yeah, forget the person. Um, and just talking about how I, I'd imagine when you're with this new person that's around, whether you're with, you're with them or just dating, whatever the case may be, they're a new friend, just... Acknowledging that this person doesn't have what the last person had that you were in a relationship with, or maybe not even in a relationship with, just somebody that you yearn for. And just saying, like, we can drive for miles, but only she, only that person can get me there. And um, you can try all you want, but I won't care. And it's like, <laughs> it's like, damn. Um, so just, I guess, disregard the effort that the other person is putting in. Um, from their perspective, but from the lead singer's perspective, it's like, look, I'm just, I'm on a hook. Like, I'm thinking about her and her only. <laughs> and the last track that I'm going to talk about is the ninth track, <clears throat> Valentine. Like, just in time, well, not just in time, but two weeks before Valentine's Day gets here in 2024. This album released, like, what, a few days after Valentine's Day in 2023, I believe? But yeah, this track is about just being my valentine it kind of reminds me in a sense of perfect storm uh, yeah, this track is about being my valentine or wanting to be well no wanting somebody else to be your valentine so of course in turn you being theirs and just saying like you can try to shoot me down but you could never shoot me down now that i will say i hear that and i go hmm are you a little too you're being a little too arrogant here like oh you could never turn me down you could never shoot me down it's like uh, eh, you asked for it a little earlier. They're going to break your heart, smash it to pieces. So if they end up saying no, but that's just me, me being funny and like reading, looking way too deep into it. <laughs> but overall, I like this album. Like I said, one of my favorites of 2023. And um, if you've heard it, let me know what you think about it in the comment section below and what you think about my review on it. If you haven't heard it, I definitely recommend that you check it out. Then come back and let me know what you think about it and what you think about my review on it. And yeah, that's pretty much it, y'all. Be sure to hit the like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new and like the content that you see. Check the description for links um, as far as connecting with me further outside of YouTube. And that's pretty much it. Thank y'all for watching, and I will see y'all next time. I've got one more review from 2023, and then we're all in on 2024. See y'all. Uh, take care. Be safe. Love you. <laughs>